Good evening. This is Dr. Paul. Thank you very much for tuning to our channel today. And today I want to talk a few minutes about SETA courses. Before I go further, I request you to visit our website at www.usmlevideos.net. That is www.usmlevideos.net, where we post videos almost every day uh, for the benefit of the students. So let me talk today about uh, SETA courses. SETA courses is uh, a very important disease, I mean, in the view of USML examination. It's present with fever and a headache, and uh, it also sometimes gives the appearance of uh, atypical pneumonia and uh, with signs of uh, pneumonitis. And the most important thing is, in the history, you will see the, uh, the contact with birds. They can be parakeets or parrots but there will always be a contact with the birds. So that's the most important point in history. So cetacosis is acquired from the contact with birds like parrots, parakeets, chickens, pigeons, and ducks. So these birds, people handle these birds and get this disease. The onset is uh, usually rapid. Some people uh, start with fever and chills and the muzzle aches, that myalgia and dry cough and uh, headache. And uh, when you see these patients, you see temperature pulse dissociation. That means with the rise of temperature, you don't see the rise of pulse proportionately. And some of these patients develop shortness of breath and uh, cyanosis. The other important thing is they develop culture negative endocarditis. That's remember that point. They develop culture negative endocarditis. And this looks like an atypical pneumonia because uh, they, they develop interstitial uh, and a diffuse appearance and some of them develop consolidation on chest x-ray, but it is indistinguishable from bacterial pneumonia or viral pneumonia. So by, if you take an x-ray, chest x-ray in these patients, it might look like just like a bacterial or viral pneumonia. That's why we diagnose this condition serologically. Antibodies can be demonstrated by complement fixation or immunofluorescence by like a second week of the disease. So you can start with uh, chemotherapy in these patients, like uh, it, it suppresses the antibodies. The illness is uh, indistinguishable from uh, viral, mycoplasmal, and other atypical pneumonias, except for the history of contact with birds. So history with the uh, history of contact with the birds is the most important thing you need to look for. And also, as I said before, they have culture-negative endocarditis. Now, what about the treatment? Treatment is tetracyclines. That's the most important thing and probably the only thing you need to remember, tetracyclines. Or erythromycin, like 500 mg orally every six hours late. So doxycycline should be given like 14 days. So those, those are the most important points when it comes to uh, treatment. So doxycycline, number one then erythromycin, azithromycin, or clarithromycin may be used in younger children, okay? So if the patient is older, go for tetracyclines. If the patient is younger, because tetracyclines cannot be used for younger patients, we use erythromycin, clarithromycin, or azithromycin. So those are the most important uh, things you need to remember. Chlamydia um, cetacae, chlamydia cetacae, is the organism that causes cetacosis. It's an obligate intracellular parasite when it comes to the microbiology. And as I said, it comes with a contact with the birds and uh, patients get a picture of uh, atypical pneumonia, uh, which is indistinguishable from viral pneumonia or bacterial pneumonia on a chest X-ray. And uh, you diagnose it with a complement fixation the serological demonstration of antibodies by the second week of the illness, and then you treat them with uh, a tetracycline like a uh, doxycycline. And if the patient is young, you treat them with uh, azithromycin or clarithromycin or erythromycin. Those are the important points you need to remember when it comes to cetacosis. Thank you very much, and uh, please feel free to visit us at our website, www.usmlevideos.net. And uh, thank you very much.